Hello, my name is Tracy Allen and I want to welcome you to Cooking with Some Friends. Hello and welcome to Cooking with Some Friends. We're going to share a recipe for some white chicken enchiladas. And we have in our bowl, what we're gonna start with is the chicken part of that, and then we'll show you the sauce. So the chicken, you can make your own chicken, or cook your own chicken, and you can't make a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> you can cook your own chicken or you can use rotisserie chicken and we used rotisserie chicken and then just took the two chicken breasts and shredded that up and that's where we're going to start and we're going to put those in the bowl and then to that we're going to add um, to our two chicken breasts we juiced a whole lime and that goes in and then we have a spice combination of uh, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, some salt and pepper, and that's just to taste. And then we're gonna add some cheese to this. And we're going to also put in um, a half a large can of green, fire roasted green chilies. And you can do jalapenos if you'd rather do those. You can roast your own jalapenos, whatever you wanna do. But we're doing green chilies. And then about a cup of mozzarella cheese. Yeah. Mix that all together. And make sure all the spices get mixed in with all the cheese so you don't have some that doesn't have any spices on it. Okay, and then we're gonna turn over to make our sauce. So in our frying pan, you wanna get a decent sized frying pan or skillet. So in that we wanna melt a couple of tablespoons of butter. Put our windows open, the weather is great outside today. this on about a medium high heat to melt your butter and then we're going to add a little bit of garlic to this about a clove of garlic let that cook for just a minute My butter melted before I add my flour. I have since I added since I added two tablespoons of butter. I want to make sure I add two tablespoons of flour to make it as a thickener. Let that garlic to cook just a minute as well. Love having the windows open, but also means when we live in town so when the traffic goes by you hear all that too smell of garlic as it cooks Butter, 
butter, our flour to our butter. And you always want to let that cook just for a couple of minutes. So your white sauce doesn't have a floury taste. Size tortillas and fill those with our chicken mixture. And I've already sprayed my baking dish. This will make about eight enchiladas. We will be using some jalapenos, but we're gonna actually top this or garnish it with jalapenos once it's done baking, for the last few minutes of baking. And to that, I wanna add one cup broth, chicken broth. cook until it starts to thicken up. Okay, our sauce is starting to get a little bit thicker, so I'm gonna let that just continue to thicken up a little bit. I'll show you, I've got most of my tortillas filled. I've got one more to go, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill it. So I'm gonna put your chicken right down the middle. And if you have just a little bit left, it's no big deal. Just wrap that up, and push it into your casserole. And if you have a little bit extra, you're just gonna put it down the sides. Just kind of stuff it into the sides of your casserole dish. Doesn't need to go to waste. Now that our sauce is thicker, I'm gonna turn the heat off and I'm gonna take the rest of our chilies. And I'm gonna add those. And I have our sour cream, about half a cup of sour cream that I wanna put in there. And remember, I've already turned my heat off. I have about four ounces of sour, or cream cheese, and I have a little over a cup, just a heaping cup of shredded Monterey Jack. And then I'm gonna put in just a little bit of white pepper. Stir this together until all that melts down, and then I'll pour this over the top. And you could just top it with the Monterey Jack. I just like to melt it into it. Okay, so I'm gonna cover this with the sauce and then put it in a 375 degree oven and bake it. And it takes about 25 to 30 minutes. It'll get all bubbly and start to brown on top. And then at the very last of that, about the last five minutes or so, I'll go ahead and garnish it with some jalapenos and then let it cool for about five minutes after it comes out of the oven and then we can serve it. All that cream cheese is melted in.
chicken enchiladas. Hope you enjoy them. Show you when they come out of the oven. Our enchiladas are done and ready to come out of the pan. Very good. Thanks for joining us for this session of Cooking with Some Friends. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And find us on Facebook at Cooking with Some Friends.